Guys, welcome back to my next video. So I'm going to be going over tech accessory reviews. So the tech accessory I use to kind of level up my game, or alternatively the accessories I use to protect my tech. So if you're looking for something with the technology or tech you own currently, then this may be the video for you. Keep watching, I'm going to go through it. Let's get on with it. All right, welcome back to this video, guys. Thank you for checking this out. Uh, the weather today is not great. It is quite dark outside and it's raining. Uh, I'm not sure how that reflects on my mood, but I'm hoping this video would cheer you guys up and show you some of the tech accessories I own. Now, I'm gonna be going over a few of the accessories I own for the tech I own. I'm not gonna be going over the actual tech devices. Well. I think one of them may you may call a tech device, one or two actually, uh, but otherwise it's may, mostly tech accessories. Now, before I get on with this video, it would help me out a great deal, guys, if you can subscribe to this video down below and hit the like button. And also check out my Instagram account if you haven't already done so. Right, so I'm gonna be going over the first accessory. So that will be this, this Pacific AirPods pouch right here. So basically this uh, AirPods case houses my AirPods Pro and I've gone for the, the Spargan here. So if I show you a bit more closer, yeah. So I've gone for the, I think it's pronounced Spargan, I may be pronouncing it wrong. It has a nice circular type of ring, quite solid. And uh, the case is actually like a knit case. So it's like, you can feel it. It's like, how do you describe it? It's it's a, it's a kind of a material that can withstand things. Um, and it's a bit different. It's got like, a, even though the case has like a knit exterior, it has like a, a rubber kind of, how do you say, a border that goes around it. Oh, I need to drop that. And then it has a cutout for your uh, the charging cable so you can charge the device. So when you put the AirPods Pro into it, you just slot it in and uh, the lid actually gets attached to the, the upper part. So it kind of, I don't know what I think of it. When you open this, it kind of pulls it, pulls it a little bit up. Um, I'm not too fond of that. Uh, it irritates me a little bit, but otherwise it's fine. You can see it's uh, lit up green. There's a little hole there to show the the kind of the charge or the status of the charge of the device. And then you have this, uh, like I said, the solid C ring or oval ring. Uh, you can connect this to pretty much anything: your bag, um, your belt, uh, anything, anywhere really. It depends on where you need to where you need this to be held. Um, the case itself, so I got it from Amazon and uh, it cost around £17.99. It comes in a few color variations. The reason why I chose this case, I am quite specific with cases, so I actually wanted to do go with something that was leather, which I did previously do with my previous AirPods case. This was pretty expensive, guys. This was like over £40. Yeah, it was over £40. But then I thought that, is there any, any real point? Because once I've got bored of those AirPods that I showed you previously with those expensive leather, with expensive leather case, the case is pretty much redundant. It wasn't gonna fit on this specific AirPod. And then say if they release another one and I like that, then the chances are I might go for that. And you know, just going, spending all this money on the case, it didn't seem like a worthwhile investment. But at the same time, I did want something that was reasonably solid and that would do a job of protecting my AirPods. So I read the reviews of this one on Amazon and to be very honest, I think this is held up pretty well. It's done uh, a really good job um, of holding up and protecting my AirPods Pro. So, you know, in terms of this, I would recommend it. Uh, if you wanna check it out, I have put links below. Right, we're gonna stay on the theme of AirPods Pro, uh, just carry that through. So, when I did get the AirPods Pro, the actual, the earphone, I have noticed that when I spent like two over 200 pounds at that time, and say I was walking down the street, 
the fitting on this was not great so when I put it into my ear it will basically just straight like after a few minutes of walking it will just fall out of my ear which was really irritating because it's not a cheap um it's not a cheap device uh, at all and if this falls and you step on it you've uh, pretty much lost a fair bit of money because even if you want to replace one of these it's not cheap so i did some research on amazon and uh, what i found was that these were highly recommended by people so these are pretty much uh, the wings for the airpods the headphones so you just put it around there let me just show you actually and that pretty much keeps the earphone safely in your ear and uh, from testing it it's worked fantastically well i mean there's not been any issues at all it stays so nicely in my ear it's snug it's comfortable and it's something i would you know highly highly recommend especially if your airpods pros are not fitting in your ear or they're slightly loose or they basically fall out say after 30 minutes hour or longer then definitely invest in these because it's not a cheap device uh, if it does fall out and you know you can't locate it or you step on it to you know to keep spending money on or replacing and usually with these airpod pro uh, airpod pro um the wings i usually just always keep them on this ring so it's always fairly close and i don't need to uh, look for it everywhere it's just kept neatly with the airpod pro and that's uh, this is and again another high recommendation anything i do use i've tested out and i keep because it works for me i wouldn't keep something that doesn't work for me and i would not be recommending it to you guys because it's kind of useless and redundant uh, these i've purchased from the wings i'm talking about um I purchased from amazon uh, they costed 12.99 and i will put a link for these below so the next thing i'm going to be going over is actually a recent uh, purchase so i've owned loads of um <coughs> i've owned loads of portable chargers and i think with portable chargers um the ones i've owned in the past they're the ones that obviously you just put the usb connect connect it to the the phone or whatever device you're using and charge it up that way um but i was always looking i was always thinking you know if there's something that wireless portable charger that came out it would be uh, massively interested because that would make my life in terms of charging devices a tad easier you don't have to keep carrying the cable with you then i went on the anchor website this is just uh, two weeks ago and i saw this device here Right guys, so, so this specific one here, uh, I'm just checking on Amazon where I've purchased it, is the Anchor Wireless Power Bank. And this is the 10,000, uh, I think it's milliamp, uh, how you pronounce it. It's a 10K uh, wireless portable charger with Q certified 10 watt wireless charging and 18 watt USB-C quick charge for the iPhone X, 11 Pro, AirPods and so forth. So. The reason I selected this one, uh, the size was pretty reasonable. I can house this uh, in my bag or my backpack or whatever the case may be in the car. And it's got the wireless function, which was extremely, extremely attractive. That's something that uh, massively uh, attracted me to this specific device. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you this. So you just switch it on from there. It's not gonna be the best showing um, because I haven't got space here. If I switch this on, I'm going to put this case here. You'll see this light up, which means it's charging. Uh, wait, is this? This ain't lighting up. Why is this? Why is this fading on me when I'm doing a video? Uh, there you go. Can you see it? Light up. So it's now charging this device. Yes, this is not the best way to show you, but. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so uh, inherently that's one of the massive positives um, why I've chosen this specific wireless uh, charger uh, due to this extreme positive of being able to charge something without the cable, take it anywhere, just plant your device on there as so, and it will start charging. Though with my iPhone I've noticed, due to uh, the case, it's not able to charge it with the case on i mean it's not a deal breaker but it's just i don't feel like you've taken the case off the phone just a tad bit irritating uh, so you can see the usb 
uh, function there and the USB-C as well power button over here and then uh, while the phone does charge sometimes you could just put the phone on here while it charges so you press this button here and then you pull out if I get this right okay there you go so you could just plant your phone I don't think this would be the best way to do it but essentially when it's sitting on the table like this so now it's charging the phone it's keeping it upright and yeah you don't necessarily have to put it on the top um, so yeah I'm really happy with this um, purchase it was extremely worthwhile however it was really expensive guys this is something I do need to know it was expensive so the normal price for this is $39.99 and I got a 10% discount in fact that's available at the moment so if you guys want to check it out I'll put the link below and you can apply the 10% voucher that they have on the page. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see it, but if not, uh, the original price is $39.99. If you wanna check that out. So right guys, uh, I'm gonna be going through another peripheral, if it's called, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but yeah, another uh, accessory that I use daily, daily. Uh, and this is my uh, Razer mouse. So I'm just gonna take it off I've actually it's really annoying but I've attached it to the cable yes it's wireless I've lost the USB wireless dongle which is very annoying uh, so you can see it's lit up now it's going all sorts of colors if you have a look right there and that's what's attracted me to this because I love uh, the RGB lighting I think that's so cool and you can see it happening right there in the Razer logo and also in the what do you call it? <laughs> when you need to know the name, you don't remember the name. Um, the the dialy thing. Um, yeah, that's not very professional, but I'm not very competent at knowing these devices very well. Um, but yeah, you can see, look at these beautiful colours. Orange, pink, purple, yellow, green. Really cool. And uh, I use this every day. It's extremely lightweight. There's hardly any weight to this. It's really light. Uh, the only flaw is that if the dongle, if you lose it, then you're stuck using it with the, the cable it comes with, which is probably not a deal breaker for some, but if you're going to take this everywhere with you, don't lose the dongle like I did. That's a silly mistake. Um, so yeah, you've got the rolling thing right there. You have two buttons right there, which I usually adjust the, the mouse speed with. And then you have buttons on the side, which I don't really use and no buttons there so and this is kind of the design it is very very cool but at the same time it is ridiculously expensive um when you're not using the the razor you can actually just put the dongle right there so you could just slot it back in but yeah i love the design i love the rgb lighting i love the weight and i love the feel it's for me it's perfect in in terms of the using this it's my hand fits well it's easy to maneuver it's a fantastic ma um, mouse i would highly recommend it though it's very expensive so, I mean, the next thing i'm going to go over essentially is the wait if i can pull this off here actually i'm gonna have to take this off is um the spargin apple uh charging stand so essentially this is how it looks with my apple watch on it and then if i take it off it's just a massive circle ring and the stand so i've got this recently this was relatively cheap it was 8.99 it's it's just mostly all made of rubber with a, a non-slip uh thing on the bottom and your uh apple ca the cable for the the charger cable for the apple watch fits directly here it will sit there and then your watch is pretty much sitting like this and i mean this supports it reasonably well um but personally uh i i can't i'm not able to recommend this which is unfortunate compared to all the other accessories i'm using i can't recommend this one and the reason for this is essentially because this the charging cable when it's put into the back here and you put the watch and the, the cable is pushed right to the front so essentially that's the max it can go when you put this here 
so many times I've checked it's just not charging the device so many times now I take the watch off I push it forward and then put it again is then it charges it and then a couple of times you know you do this over the week you notice that if you just leave it on and you forget to give it a push against the back of this uh, stand it won't charge it so say four hours later you look you're like damn it hasn't charged anything which is very annoying um, I, I mean I can't complain for the price I mean it does the job it needs to but um, maybe it's specifically a defect with this one but yeah it doesn't charge my device well so yeah I can't recommend it for that purpose but the reviews on this is pretty good on Amazon so if you want to check it out you can it's cheap um, it does hold it well uh, it's made of rubber it's easy to grip and yeah generally it does hold the apple watch um nicely but in terms of charging it, it is it's not great so for that reason i would not really recommend that i think there are better alternatives i will be purchasing another one and i'll let you know how that goes but uh, for this purpose that is not great and not a recommendation so let's move on with the next one Right guys, so the next one is actually my favourite one. Um, so for a while I was looking for a keyboard. Um, I would, before I was using a wireless keyboard, but it's one of the flatter ones, you know, where it's not got much of a, a bounce or click to it. It's like uh, you're just touching the keyboard, it's like flat pretty much. Um, that wasn't bad, it, it, it did the job. It was, uh, it was quite cheap, I think it was 15 pounds, it was wireless and um, I don't have that with me, but I wanted something that when I'm clicking, I can feel like I'm clicking something. And I did my uh, search and I found this one right here. So this here is the Poker 3 by Vortex. And this is, fa okay, <laughs> you can see some stickers. So yeah, I like to customize my devices. I actually wanted to get my, the logo for this channel put on at the back here, but yeah, I haven't got round to that and I managed to just slap any kind of sticker on uh, just to make it look stylish, I guess. I don't know where, where I'm going with this, but yeah. So it's the RGB uh, model of Vortex and it's their smaller keyboard. Um, 60, I think it's a 65% or 60% keyboard. I don't have the specs at the top of my head. And it was really, really hard to get hold of this. I did my research and this was... Uh, for most people that were reviewing keyboards, they were recommending this keyboard highly. And I can see why it's pretty hefty. It's got a nice weight to it. You know, if you put it somewhere, it's not gonna move. However, traveling around with this, I don't travel around with this, guys, but if you're gonna travel around with a keyboard that uh, you need to take with you everywhere, I mean, this is gonna be a bit hefty. It's got a fair amount of weight. I mean, you can use this to hit someone. Not that I'm saying you should use it to hit someone. I'm just saying that's how hefty it is. Um, it's pretty solid. Uh, in terms of the feel when you're typing, that I, I really like the sound of that. That was so cool. Um, I really like. I don't. I don't type like this, guys. Because so, <laughs> this is just like. A cartoonish type of type but yeah uh, the feel when you're typing is fantastic the only only flaw I can say is um, basically I I wanted originally the the wireless kind of keyboard uh, mechanical keyboard but I don't like those options so this is the flaw it's a wired keyboard so it's not gonna work without the wire and then on top of that it's a very old style of uh, wire connectivity so it's not micro USB, it's a little bit bigger. I, can't, I don't know the exact connection type and I don't really like that. Um, I mean, there's not much I can do about that, but it's not the, the type of wired connecti connectivity I like. Uh, but other than that, I love the, the, the color of the keyboard, black, all black. It's very discreet. Um, I like that kind of look. And I like the fact that the RGB lights are fantastic. You can customize the keys. Um, so yeah, generally I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, there's no complaints in regards to this. And yeah, I will highly recommend it. Yeah, so this is how it looks like here. You could house your MacBook, you can house your keyboard. Technically, I don't know if it's for a keyboard, but I'm gonna house my keyboard, I don't really care. Um, 
yeah your macbook or whatever device you need to keep upright a tablet um and this um you can put more than one if you want but there's separate models where you can put there's dividers in there um but this is how i house my keyboard anyway without dropping this Ooh, like this nice isn't it nice that is nice and it holds it well um it's weighty it's got um it's got a weight to it uh, I think this is made of aluminium but I might need to double check that and it's got a, the logo there for this company and it's got all everything I'm showing you is going to be in the description below with links so you can check it out uh, it's got a slight rubberized line there to kind of keep the device uh, firmly in in place and uh, yeah you got uh, a nice platform there made of rubber as well so it's non-slip um, like I said, it's got a heft to it, so it can hold heavy devices quite well. And if your device is a little bit thicker or thinner, you just uh, get the screw, loosen it up and open it or make it narrow accordingly, depending obviously on, on the device size. So I adjusted this in accord to the size of this keyboard. So this is how it, I don't know if I'll put it like this. I think I put it the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah it holds it well um it does a good job uh, in terms of the pricing for this uh i got this on amazon for actually let me just go through some of the description with you right now um because i only purchased this recently so this should be on top of my orders here somewhere if i couldn't find it you know it's my luck if i can't find something yeah i just can't ugh. I didn't know I ordered so many things from Amazon that it just gets pushed down and down and down. Oh, sorry about that, but I remember I purchased it for £23 and something at the end, so close enough to £24 anyway. And yeah, that's something I can highly recommend. No issues, uh, nice feel to it, strong, strong, uh, solid, holds things well and sits well and looks nice. So there's not much to complain in regards to that. Do check out on Amazon if that's something that you're looking for to house or keep your devices upright. Moving on to the last accessory. Sorry about that guys, my device actually cut off. Apparently I reached maximum maximum record time, which is, I didn't know I spoke that long, but I'm gonna wrap this up very quickly. So yeah, um, the last thing is, is the iPad case. So the case to my iPad, uh, this was actually quite expensive purchase, but as you guys are aware, my previous iPad failed on me. Um, and I had the same case. The case did a fantastic job, but the iPad failed. So I got a brand new iPad now and I've got a brand brand new case. So uh, this is by Zugu. It's very expensive. It costed uh, 63 pounds. So yeah, very expensive, but it offers you a, a premium build. It's made well, beautiful color, love it. Space for your Apple Pencil. And um, you can basically house this at any angle. There's I think about 10 angles that you could push it backwards. And there's space for your Apple Pencil right there as well. So this is a, a very, very high recommendation. This will definitely do a fantastic job of housing your iPad and protecting it. So I would highly recommend you guys purchase this. It would do you well. Um, it is expensive, but you're paying for something that's very premium and that will look after your device well, but at the same time, look very, it does look premium, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a cheap holder. Uh, it looks high quality um, and it's got a really nice feel to it. I love the feel to this. So yeah, let me just show you the branding there. Right. So I hope this video uh, helped you. I have to kind of wrap this up for the reason that my camera is basically saying disconnect now. It's already cut off my previous recording. Uh, it would help me out a great deal if you guys could subscribe to my channel click the button below which says sub subscribe uh, obviously right next to that there should be a button that says like do like the video if you uh, liked what I've showed you uh, if you have any questions note them down below I'll get back to you and thank you for checking this out I'll see you guys shortly have a lovely week see ya